everyone, this is Keith Valentine. I finally got a chance to play the Kiwi Labs Slice, the new pickleball company, new paddle. You want to hear about it? Stay tuned. A couple of the distinct features of this Kiwi Labs. So it is a 20 millimeter paddle. So what does that mean? This is one of the thickest paddles on record in the USAP approved list. Now, Part of that is because of the edge guard, okay? This is not truly a 20 millimeter paddle. The edge guard itself is taking up two millimeters or maybe even more. So it's probably an 18 millimeter core. Um, after the 16 millimeter core, then the layers of carbon fiber, T700, uh, they call it hand polish. So uh, here's a picture of the uh, carbon fiber under microscope. Um, it looks like a decent weave on here. Uh, I found that the paddle performed pretty well when it came to spin, but um, with the layers of the carbon uh, on top of the 16 millimeter core, you get a couple more millimeters of cushion and it's carbon fiber cushion. So let's talk about this paddle and just its basic specs. So basic specs, they went a little bit different here. They're a 16.2 length versus a 7.2 seven inch width and so they didn't go with the traditional 16 by 8 or the traditional 16 and a half by 7 and a half so they're a little kind of a tweener in between the second thing that they did here is the five and a half inch handle now it is a five and a half inch handle if you can see there it's a five and a half inch handle but what they did here is they made a lot more surface space for your hand up here so you're really getting about a six inch handle out of this so this is perfect for those of you with the tui right perfect for the tui super comfortable on here this paddle feels great and solid when you get it the other thing that they did because of this longer area here and because of the thickness of this handle which i'm going to talk about in a minute it's a lot more neutral balanced than traditional long handle paddles so it's not as powerful as the one. So if you want the paddle to produce power, you want more of a head heavy paddle. This is not the paddle for you. This is more neutral. And I think I, I'll explain a little bit about the handle and how that offsets. So it's a little bit more neutral of a, of a feel for a paddle this, this long. But because of the thickness, this thing is soft. This thing is like butter. When you're receiving the ball, when you're resetting the ball, um, it is so good feel of where the ball is going to go, how much distance you're going to get. The control on this thing is ridiculous, right? So a longer handle paddle that you can then control. It's also the, because of the thermoform unibody, it still has put away power. So if you have a good overhead or you have a good finish, you're going to be able to put the ball away with this. But you might have to work a little bit harder if you're then used to like if you're used to a Project 002 or or a Power Air. Like those paddles have a lot of pop, a lot of spin, but not a lot of control. They're not control paddles. This is a control paddle, right? So that falls into that category. The other thing I love about this paddle, now this is something that this paddle has made it into my bag. I have played with it multiple days by choice. Not because I, I, I want to get filmed for it, but because I like playing this paddle. Um, I think this is a perfect starter paddle for somebody coming from tennis or racquetball. Let me explain. It has a 4.4 inch grip. So um, I've already taken the over wrap off, but it, it, has a, it has a traditional leather grip. And then if you put an over wrap on top of that grip, you're looking at a 4.5 plus inch handle. Now, why is that significant? Well, if you're coming from tennis, tennis has the, almost that size of handle. It's just a little bit smaller than tennis and about the same size as a racquetball racket. So what, what does that do for you? Well, if you're used to a hexacon grip, that has pronounced bevels, that feels like a tennis racket or a racquetball racket, this paddle is for you. It feels so much like a tennis racket that like I had to take a little bit of a learning curve because of the circumference of this handle. Some of my dinks were, were skyballing because when I get on the side bevel here, when I get on one, two, bevel three, right? When I get on this bevel, it, it opens up the face here. And so I had to make an adjustment because I was used to a little bit smaller handle. But what does this do for us? Well, with a larger handle here, the rotation of your hand as you come through to strike the ball is slower. Okay, so as I'm rotating my hand, it's the same principle as with golf clubs, right? Larger grip golf clubs, your hand doesn't rotate as fast through contact point right? So with a bigger grip, your hand is not rotating through as fast as contact point because of the pivot around this. 
your hand has to move more. So it's also great for those tennis guys that like to swipe up and across their, their shots, right? As they come up and across and through their shots, the thicker handle feels that way. So now, if you, um, you know, if you're a lady, this paddle might feel a little bit thick for you, right? But what you can do is you can take off the leather grip and just put one Wilson overwrap or one thin overwrap, and then that makes it around a 4.2 inch handle. And then that feels more comfortable for the ladies, especially for the two-handed backhand. But let's talk about, okay, the different shots with this paddle. So um, in dinking, I think this is an above average, this is a, a 10 when it comes to dinking and control shots. I was in the kitchen, I felt I could carve the ball and put the ball anywhere I wanted uh, uh, on the kitchen line. Like I could move the ball around, I could hit there, and also because of the length, it's still, you know, a 16.2 inch paddle, um, you know, you're giving up a 0.3 of an inch, right, uh, at the end here, but you can still, because it's thermoformed and stiff with control, you can hit the ball all the way out here to the edge. So this whole paddle feels like a sweet spot. And, I, and I'll say the same thing for the Warrior. The Warrior, the 20 millimeter paddle from Diadem, feels exactly the same way. It's a huge sweet spot for this guy. Um, but because it's the thermoformed, it's stiff, so you can receive it, and it's not unpleasant when you hit outside the sweet spot. So some thermoformed, one of the knocks against any thermoformed paddle is the, the jarring it gives you on your arm when you're playing it, because it, when you hit off center, it's like a vibration that goes up your arm. It doesn't help for tennis elbow, and it's painful on some of the stiffer paddles. This paddle feels more like a Gen 1, a Gen 1 paddle without the thermoform. Very soft, um, muted feeling with this, but um, really phenomenal performance. Dinking, top 10, okay? Um, resets and control shots, right? So anytime I was doing third shot drop or I was doing resets from no man's land, anything that involved touch, this paddle was very performant. I was able to drop it at my opponent's feet. I was able to turn some, some um, defensive shots into offensive uh, control shots because I was able to redirect because of the paddle control and put it at my opponent's feet using their own power against them. So this paddle here really helped in all those shots. Um, I would say that the, uh, the thing I had to learn on this paddle was the drives. So that's where I was talking about the rotation earlier, is the drives took me a little bit of getting used to, and so I was coming in late, and the, and the paddle was open, and it was fanning up, and so I was lifting a, a lot of shots. So it took me a little bit of getting used to. For those that really go over here, you can go to the, the back bevel here and, and still get enough up on this because of the carbon uh, T700 carbon fiber, it will still grab and generate a lot of spin. Um, I don't have a spin meter on this. I would put this in the, uh, probably the 16 to 1700 in the spin range. So not, not you know, middle tier is around 1400. And it, we're probably talking 17, 1800 out of this with 2100 being the top as far as the RPMs go on the spin from Chris Olson and some of the other uh, YouTube channels that measure the spin for us. I would say that the thing that I love about this paddle the most is the price. The paddle, the paddle cost on this is 145 retail. You get a 10% discount by using our code below. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. That helps us keep the lights on. It helps give us the ability to bring you these great reviews. So with the purchase of that, uh, with the $145, you also get a head cover, a Kiwi Labs head cover, and this uh, green paddle eraser which you do need to do because these carbon face paddles, they shave the ball off. So I'm gonna clean this paddle while you uh, check out these other paddles over here. Yeah, right there. You just gonna watch me clean the paddle? <laughs>